It's good to be back with you. Houston, we have a problem. Gun crime is surging on the beautiful island of Barbados, so much so that the government is saying, look, we'll have to expand the BDF, which is the Barbados Defense Force or the Army. Crime is really getting out of control. And these young people who should be looking to advance their education, going to university to come back and contribute to the nation, is now contributing to the crime wave happening in the beautiful island of Barbados. This is just terrible. A dispute between two relatives turns fatal on Tuesday evening. Police was summoned to Denton Road, St. Michael, to respond to a dispute between a stepfather and a stepson. And that dispute, of course, turned deadly. I mean, this is just getting from bad to worse. Check this out. Is that on Wednesday, the 18th of September, 2024, a report was received from the operations control room of a dispute at Denton Road, was that St. Michael, between two males. Police officers from District Air Station responded, and on arrival, one male was found dead at the scene, and a natural death investigation has been started into this matter. A person of interest is in custody, and we will update the media after all protocols have been followed. We have another issue where a 17-year-old has multiple charges on his record. He should be in school and looking to advance his career. The Barbados Police Service Criminal Investigation Department have arrested and formally charged 17-year-old Tyrone Sales of Christchurch for several offenses, including murder. He has been charged for the following offenses, unlawful possession of firearm, endangering the life of Raymond Francis, causing serious bodily harm to Antoine Pollard, causing serious bodily harm to McKee James, and causing serious bodily harm to Marcus Bourne on June 12th, causing serious bodily harm to Zori Clark on June 12th as well. This is a 17-year-old with so many charges to his name. He was also jointly charged with Jelani Yadi for the murder of Zaki Goodridge on June the 12th and he was expected to appear in court on Tuesday. So this is just terrible, so terrible, that even the prime minister is saying, look, we're gonna have to expand the BDF. We're gonna need help. That is basically what she's telling the nation. The police really can't do it alone. Prime Minister Mia Motley has declared the recent surge in violent crime across Barbados untenable vowing decisive action to combat the growing threat including the expansion of the armed forces so the situation is now untenable the gun crime is now untenable barbados defense force is to grow to at least 800 personnel on their plan announced several months ago that will move ahead in response to the escalating crime so first thing you have to take notice of here the prime minister is saying look the gun crime is surging it is becoming untenable and we'll have to grow the BDF, which means that the police themselves cannot handle the situation. So it will need a backup force. Speaking after the swearing in of Lieutenant Colonel Carlos Lovell as the new chief of staff of BDF on Tuesday, Motley reiterated the urgency of the situation, highlighting that the arrest of a 17 year old for multiple offenses, including murder, was a stark reminder of the island's significant illegal firearm problem all across the Caribbean, not only in Barbados, there is an issue with illegal firearms. And where they're coming from, we're not manufacturing these items in the Caribbean. So they're coming in from North America, through the drug trade, through the cocaine trade. How are they getting into the countries? Are the borders porous? Who is allowing these things, who, who's allowing the facilitation of these things into our islands? That, that is something that governments are tackling with right now. But this is a 17 year old with multiple charges, including murder. He should be looking to upgrade his education, heading off to university and come back and contribute to Barbados economy, not causing a problem to the Barbados economy where taxpayers will now have to find money to mine him in prison. We have now the reality that there are tools available to people that have a disproportionate impact on our lives, she declared, referring to the accessibility of illegal guns. She also referred, she also reaffirmed the government's commitment to blustering BDF ranks, particularly in light of rising crime and delinquency among the youth. So the army has to be blustered. 
because the police need help. They can't do it alone. Motley expressed regret over what she described as the nation's slow response to addressing youth delinquency and antisocial behavior. Well, Mia, you are at the helm and everyone is going to blame you and you'll have to take some sort of responsibility. Put down your foot as the carb employees say and, and, and let these ministries and these people in various institutions who are supposed to be addressing the youth delinquency and antisocial behavior take up their role faster. We have been too lax in being able to control and ensure that our young people are rooted. She said, adding that the plans to speak for on the issue of crime later this week. Well, first of all, you know, the Caribbean islands have adopted the American culture wholesale. And I mean wholesale. No longer can a parent speak with a child. The child has become the parent. Parents are now wanting to be friends with their children instead of being their parent. Of course, you can be friends with your children, but you have to let them know who is in authority. Children now apparently are taking over the role of parenting, and we have allowed the American culture to do all the damage to us. And that is one part of our problem in the Caribbean. When I saw right here in the island of St. Vincent, that government was saying, we're going to move to a system where principals really can't discipline children the way they used to. I knew that was the end of all things good for us. Now, I'm not saying that a principal is supposed to beat down somebody's child, but when a child spends most of the time out of the house, nine to three, eight to four, whatever it is, in a classroom session, they're spending most of the time with educators. So now these people come as if they're the parents and responsible for discipline and education, almost parenting. And if they don't have certain controls over these children anymore, it means that society has gone to the dogs because this is where they spend most of their time and their growing years. It is in the school with teachers. Now the prime minister framed the swearing in of Lieutenant Lovell as symbolic to Barbados, contrasting his achievements with the challenges faced by many young people involved in criminal activity. A fine young man who rises to the Highest ranks in this country are young men who want a pathway to either Coral Ridge, West Barry, Cemetery, or Dodds. So you could either head to the cemetery, Dodds, West Barry, or Coral Ridge. The choice is ours. I do not believe that it is a difficult choice. And of course, if you get involved in crime at a young age and you don't intend to remove yourself from the crime situation, it's always two places. It's either you die, you kill, or you end up in jail, really. That's just what it is. And so she said, the choice is yours for children and for yourself. It has become an untenable situation, needs fixing and needs fixing very fast or else we're going to become a society. All of us may have to stay in our homes and really put down the bug, the bars at the windows, can't sleep with it anymore just to get some fresh air. We'll all be forced to buy fans, a lot of fans, air conditioned units, which many of us can't afford sometimes. And the sun is getting so hot. It is just a sticky situation right now and it needs to be handled as quickly as possible. You do not want it getting out of control like Jamaica. You do not want it getting out of control like Trinidad. You do not want it getting out of control like what is happening in the US right now, where so many people have come across the board and crime has gone out of control in so many states in the US. This is definitely a situation that Barbados has to take hold of quickly, as fast, as possible and i hope that the government gets a handle on it citizens as well has to pay their part thank you very much for our videos for watching comment in the section below and remember to like subscribe and share these videos so that youtube could recommend them more all right thank you very much